Nice. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm Margie Lyman. Welcome to with Dudum Real Estate Group. Welcome to A Few Minutes with Margie. I'm here with Sean Delfani at Tattoo Parlor Body Piercing and Body Art called Zebra in Walnut Creek. Yeah. Nice welcome, to see you. welcome, you nice too. To see you. Yeah. And you have other locations as well. We do. We have uh, one location uh, in Berkeley on Telegraph, uh, just south of campus, and then our second location is here at Walnut Creek in Broadway Plaza. Perfect, perfect. And how did you get started in all this? Well, it is a uh, it is a family business. So my dad started the uh, the company back in 1984, okay. um, and previously we were uh, called Broadway's Rock. So we specialize in like rock and roll apparel, and uh, you know studded belts, wigs, all the crazy you know spiked bats, and just crazy rock and roll 80s you know punk uh, scene. Wow. Um, so then as you know times kind of evolved, people wanted tattoos, people wanted piercings, and uh, my dad wanted to create basically more services that he can offer for his customers, not just retail. So uh, he got into tattooing and piercing and hiring uh, different artists to come on board. And um, that's when we kind of evolved into Zebra. So okay. um, and we opened our uh, first Zebra in 89 on Polk Street uh, okay. after Broadway's Rock um, and then uh, Telegraph in Berkeley uh, in 93. So. As of now, that location is still operating, and then the one in Walnut Creek. So we just have two locations at the moment. That must have been an interesting childhood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was. Um, Not the norm. You know, for me, it was it was normal. It's all I uh, yeah, knew. Right. So I didn't I didn't realize how against the grain I guess the industry that my my family was involved with uh, was at the time. But I I knew there was I did feel some sort of um, I don't know a. Like I knew we were a little bit different, but I didn't know, I didn't really understand why. Because to me, it was just like, was this, is, this is what we do. And I, I didn't, it didn't hit me until probably in, in high school where I was, I was like, oh, I see why people look, may look at us a little bit different. And it's not like my parents are covered in tattoos or piercings. If you were to look at them, you would, you never would have guessed that we um, were in the tattoo and, and body modification industry. Uh, which I think makes it even a little more funny uh, when you <laughs> when you look at my family because we're not covered from head to toe. But um, yeah, that makes it a little bit more more yeah. interesting when when it does come up. Well, it must have been fun. It was. Yeah, it was. Uh, I always enjoyed going to work. You know, with my dad. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was surrounded by just an extremely diverse uh, right. crowd, and um, always with you know with open arms. We've always been. Um, a business that has accepted people from all walks of life. Our, yep. our demographic has to be the most diverse that I have ever seen, um, and it's all with open arms. I mean, we've yeah. we have, you know, our historically people who were getting tattoos and piercings were always kind of an outcast, right. um, and we have always created a space to make everyone feel welcome, whether. Um, you know, they're head to toe covered in body right. jewelry Whenever and tattoos, they or they're just yesterday, a yeah. hundred year old lady coming in for, to get her second, you know, her double lobe piercings for her birthday. So, or I an infant, it. you know, three months old getting right. there, you yeah, know, so scared, scared, scared. whoever it is, it's just, it's a blast. Every day it's, it's something different. And that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And um, you're from the area. You grew up in, in yeah. Concord? Yeah, Concord. Um, elementary, we moved to Walnut Creek. Um, I went to Las Lomas. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm a kind of a homegrown boy here. Yeah. Um, I spent some time in Arizona. I ran track out there. Mm -hmm. um, and then moved down to LA. That's where I got into hospitality and real estate. Um, and then I came back home, started working with Zebra. So, That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And you're very close with your family. I am. Um, I I always have been, and then um, when I moved back to work, you know, here at Zebra, that obviously just took it to a whole another level. And you know, people always talk about you know, working with family, like careful. It's you know, you're gonna. And I was like, ah, it'll be it'll be fine, yeah. you know. And then um, I I did I later I did find you know, you find yourself in different situations where it's like, this is my dad, but he's also my boss so yeah. it's you know so 
navigating that, it was because we were so close and we had so much love and respect for each other, it, it made it like a very easy transition. And of course, challenges always arise in any, any business, but um, it, it truly has worked out so beautifully and um, it's great. I mean, my, my ideal situation is have them you know, come whenever they feel that they want to come and hang out and engage right. with customers. But I don't, I want to kind of free them of them feeling like they need to be here every single day because right. they did that for, you know, 40 years. Right. Um, so it's time for them to kind of enjoy the fruits of their labor and know that the, their baby uh, is being uh, handled by their, their, ba <laughs> their, their baby. Their baby. <laughs> yeah. So. Perfect. Yeah, well, yeah. one of the things that I was really amazed by when I first came in here, and I've, I've been in here 20 years ago, yeah. or maybe a little longer than that even yeah. now, but um, is how efficient, clean, organized, and um, welcoming I felt when I first walked in. It was a big change from a long time ago. Yeah. It wasn't that it wasn't welcoming it's just that it, it's open it's bright it's colorful um you feel like a rock star when you walk in with the with the red velvet um <laughs> and, yeah, and everything yeah. it's really beautiful and you've got a lot of privacy for people who are maybe wanting something different or wanting um uh, are nervous you yeah. know yeah so for sure i'm, I'm glad that that's the the feeling that you felt when you walked in, that's what we go for. Um, you know, we, my parents have always uh, been extremely hospitable uh, people, whether it was parties at our house or customers coming into our shop. Right. Um, because, you know, you, my, we firmly believe that, you know, you can have the best product in the world. You can have, you know, for in our case, we might have the best tattoos, best jewelry, best location. Um, but if you don't have that hospitality and that customer service, none of the other all those other elements do not matter because people it only take you so far um and that's what keeps people coming back is that that connection that they make when they walk into this place yeah and um you know they did such an amazing job at that and then when i came on board i came i was working in hotels and um that's i mean yeah i was working at a five-star hotel and that was what you know everything was about was making people feel comfortable and um, and anticipating uh, people's requests and you know being able to kind of read their minds on what they wanted before they could even open their mouth so yeah. um, I try to apply that here as much as I can and in a way that is relevant to retail and uh, what we do here so yeah. it makes it fun and it's fun training some you know young people that are working here that have maybe only worked at little Starbucks here and there or whatever they're they're new they're they're young and hungry and they come working here, they don't really know what to expect. They see all the lights and all this stuff, but then they realize this is a, it's a tight ship, you know, it but it's, it's a fun place and um, yeah. You do do a lot of training and you have many of your employees who've been here for a long time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you do to motivate them to want to be part of this culture. Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, Zebra, as I mentioned earlier, has always, attracted um, people from all walks of life, right? right? So um, with that being said, uh, you know, they come here and they see the, you know, they, they feel the vibe when they walk in, they see what's going on and they feel the energy from the, the team that is welcoming them. So that is the initial tra attraction, I think, for people to work here. Mm -hmm. um, and then when they, once they come on board, um, they, they realize how efficient this, this is a machine that, that is happening in the background. Um, so I think when they, they realize how like the how serious it is behind the scenes and how much goes involved, how much goes into it and how involved it is, um, they, they really understand like, wow, this is no, you know, it looks like entertainment in the front, but it is, you know, it's a well-oiled machine in the back. So, um, but I think people do see that. And I think, you know, when employees, they, they realize that they, they get invested and I try to, you know, guide them along the way. And, right. um, you know, I, I like to kind of some of the things that I preach and some of the lessons I try to like hammer in, um, they're not just zebra, it's not a zebra policy. It's not right. some, you know, um, we're, 
we're trying to teach and train people to be, become better people and apply that to their next job or maybe they're here for 20 years like some of our employees or in their relationships. I always try to you know, look at it that way because that's what's real. Mm -hmm. and, um, and if they can you know, apply that to their life, they can apply it here, right? So right. Um, yeah, yeah I, awesome. I'd like to think that it motivates them, it motivates me when I start yeah. you know, talking yeah. to them about it. So. One other thing that I noticed when I came in is the cleanliness and the um, effort and conscientiousness that's put into safety and um, making the experience not only positive, but one that is going to be, you're, you're covering all your bases as far as yeah. making sure everybody's fine. Yeah, for sure. I mean, in, in any body art um, uh, industry, it's, it's all about sanitation, right. um, sterilization. Um, so we've never had any violation. Uh, we go, we've always gone above and beyond in terms of what's required by the health department. Um, that was another thing that my my dad always understood. Yeah, he always made a thing. He's like, well, what if, if you go above and beyond? If you drop one ball, you're okay because you're already way up, way there. ahead. Of, you know, so yeah. um, that's a, a really uh, you know a practice that we stick to. Um, I mean, nightly commercial grade cleaners come in uh, oh, really? and, and do a deep clean of the wow. shop, and all of our practitioners do a full blown um, you know sterilization of their state of their workstation and. And um, very tools and, and tools and all of that yeah it's um so every day we, yeah of course it's very it's important. instrumental to success because one drop ball and one violation could completely ruin a reputation and yeah. um, could bring a, a, a shop down so yeah. we that is our number one safety is, is always our number one um and then all the fun stuff can happen because yeah. without that nothing else can happen so yeah. well uh, i think 40 years plus in business is very amicable and, yeah. and exemplary. Thank really you. great. Thank you. Really great. Yeah. So, what's the best way to set up an appointment and come in? Whether you're depending upon what you want, how do you approach that? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, all piercings uh, are all uh, on a walk-in service. Okay. Um, and they always have been. Probably always will. We still get calls all day about that. But um, for the record, piercings are on a walk-in basis yeah. only. <laughs> You gotta, Got you gotta get a clip of just that. <laughs> um, and then tattoos, uh, we always used to be on a walk-in service. Then as years you know, have gone by, um, we just started, the book started getting very booked up. So okay. um, uh, tattoos will be by appointment. Um, if we have cancellations or anything like that, we'll post on our Instagram and sometimes it works out where people can just get in for a quick uh, you know, a tattoo. Um, but yeah, uh, swing by the shop at any day. Uh, we are now closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays at Walnut Creek. Um, and closed Wednesdays and Thursdays in Berkeley. Um, but otherwise, come on in. Um, you can give us a call or shoot us an email or a DM on Instagram. Um, we were very responsive and that is that the first uh, impression is that phone call or that DM or that email. So we, we, we jump on that and that's, you know, we wanna make sure that we're engaging. And you have a beautiful zebra lounge too. We where do. Where you offer beverages. And yeah, yeah. People can relax and yeah. get ready for their appointment and meet with their friends. Thank it's you. really welcoming exactly. and it's very pretty too. Thank you, thank you. So. We do a lot of engagement too with different um, pop-ups. We have massage therapists, we have permanent jewelers, oh we have goodness. tooth gems, we have all sorts of uh, fun pop-ups that we do in the lounge. So if uh, anyone is interested, please let me know um, okay. and we can set them up. and. Um, make it, you know, make it a fun time in there. So, Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. So, fourteen nineteen Broadway. North North Broadway. North Broadway. Yep, yep. Okay, it's that a, sounds great. Well, thank cool. you so much, of course. Sean. Yeah, it's really a pleasure. appreciate it. I welcome you a few minutes with Margie. If you know anybody who'd be interested in having an interview with us, please give me a call. Margie Lyman, Dudum Real Estate Group. Thank you. Cool.